Hey Ginger Quick Chat, it's Nicole here, and this week's topic is a viewer's choice topic, which I always love because they um, always challenge me to think in a different way than I would normally. Um, this week's question is having to do with children, uh, having children, and how often a woman's worth is measured by her reproductive success or value placed on male fertility or fertility. Um, the other question was about um, sexless cartoon characters, which I don't have a lot to say on, so I'm probably not going to cover that this time. But um, just because I don't have anything really to say about that, um, I, I liked Joe's input about um, like Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. <laughs> um, but anyway, so <clears throat> I guess I'll just jump right into it. But I personally do not want to have children, um, and I feel very slighted at times because I have never wanted children and I've never understood that drive. Um, I've tried to want children since a very young age because growing up, you know, as a girl, it was sort of expected of you to want children and that to be your fucking ultimate goal, your fucking ultimate goal, man, was to have kids and get married. At least you know, in Texas with my family. I don't know that that's necessarily how everyone's raised, but that's just how society seems to me. I mean, look at all of these, you know, shows about having children, you know, the fucking Duggars and, you know, like, and even like, even, you know, more than that, going beyond that, you know, things like say yes to the dress, stuff like that, where it's just, you know, that doesn't have to do with kids, but in a way, when you get married, you are expected to start a family. That's part of it, you know, regardless of if you're gay or straight. No, it doesn't matter. That's the American dream. That's the, seems like the outlook on the whole entire world to me. And being someone that really doesn't relate to that um, at all, never have, has been difficult. People do not understand why I don't want kids. They're always like, well, okay, I can understand not wanting to have them, but don't you want to adopt? No, I don't want children for a lot of the same reasons that a lot of the uh, other posters had about, okay, you know, there's a lot of overpopulation issues, things like that. Um, and there's considerations that need to be, you need to think about before you have children, which hardly anyone does. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the um, film Idiocracy, but it's pretty funny. Um, and it's kind of along the lines of, um, all the intelligent people take too long to think about reprodu reproducing and then end up not reproducing and all of the sub, um, like, it's not just about intelligence, but I mean, it's just saying that the wrong kind of people reproduce, you know, multiple, multiple times because they aren't thinking through their decision. Um, I'm not saying that you have to have an IQ test to have children or something like that. I don't care about that. I mean, as long as you're a good parent, that's what matters. Your intelligence really doesn't matter. But um, but do we really need to have, like, six kids each, really? I don't know. Whatever. Um, so I just feel like that is becoming real, that, you know... <laughs> I just look around me and see these giant families, and I'm a little disgusted by it. And I feel like an asshole for saying that. You know, um, I've always been a little disgusted with pregnancy anyway. Just, it freaks me out. Um, not because, I know it's a natural thing, I understand that. But personally, I, it all, I always think about myself being pregnant and the fact that that could happen. And it just completely freaks me out because I don't identify with that part of myself at all. Um... As far as the reasons why I don't personally want children, um, again, I don't identify with my body. Um, I don't think of like my vagina or my um, reproductive organs as female um, per se because it makes me really dysphoric to think in those terms. Um, to think of having a child just totally freaks me out. Um, physically. It just, it just feels unnatural to think in those terms for me because I don't identify with my female anatomy. Um, also I've never really felt nurturing towards children ever. Um, I do towards animals. 
which is funny, <laughs> ironic, I guess, but, um, maybe that's where my nurturing comes in, but I've just never felt that way towards children. I don't think they're cute. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure that there's cute moments for them, but I just really don't like them. Oh, speaking of animals, come here, Bravado. Oh, come here. This is my dog, Bravado. He's very funny. He has a vest on. See, I nurture him. See, aren't I a good doggy parent? Oh, say hi. Say hi, Jitter Queer Chat. Hi. He's annoyed right now. Okay, get down. Um, anyway, um, this is all over the place today. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm a little rushed. I'm actually going to go meet, um, go meet Amelia from one of the subs from Jitter Chat. In a few minutes, she's in Dallas, so I'm going to go drive out there, and we're going to have some coffee, so I'm really excited about that. Really cool. Um, so, anyway, back to babies. Um, <laughs> um, my family actually hands me babies for a laugh, if you can believe that. Um, they think it's hilarious. I just don't know what to do. I just It's just not my thing. Um, and besides all these personal reasons, I mean, when you look at the global reasoning behind it, I just don't think that we need especially people that aren't, that don't connect with motherhood, need to be reproducing just for the sake of society. I think that's really fucked up. And I think it is expected. I really do. If you have a vagina, you better be popping something out of it or you better be barren because otherwise, you know, you're not worth anything in this society. You know, you're not carrying on anything. You're not, you know, it's just ridiculous. And even... It doesn't matter even about sexual orientation, I've noticed, you know? I mean, even gay couples, lesbian couples, they'll adopt or they'll, they'll do artificial insemination or whatever. And they just feel like they have to do it. You know, they have to have children. And I just, I just simply don't understand it. I don't. And I don't understand why society places such a huge burden on people that have vaginas to carry on the gene pool or whatever. I don't. I don't understand. We've got enough fucking people, you know? We need people that are going to, I don't know, maybe focus on things other than, you know, raising a copy of yourself or, you know, even if you adopt, like, raising someone to be who you think they should be. I mean, because that takes all your focus away from other issues, you know? You can't be, you can be an activist. You can be, um passionate about other things while having children. I'm not suggesting that you cannot. But what I'm suggesting is that when you have children, that takes it's going to take your focus away from other things. It's just the way it is, you know? And I feel like maybe we need more people that are focused on certain things other than raising children, you know? I mean, I want to do my music. I want to help people with music therapy, you know? I want to um, start my own voice studio, you know, I want to be there for genderqueer kids and gay kids and be an activist and be, you know, be involved with more than just my family unit. Um, so that's my take on it. Um, so sorry if this was a little bit, uh, disjointed, but, uh, Nevertheless, uh, it was a great topic, and I will see you guys next week.